Because of its fascination for mankind, gold has always been surrounded by conspiracy theories and stories of price suppression and manipulation. That's really no surprise. After all, wherever you find money, you inevitably find human beings trying to cheat in some way or another. Fake gold bars have frequently surfaced over the years, with gold-plated tungsten, which has an identical density to gold, being the most common substitute. Fortunately, any one of a number of very simple tests will provide a conclusive answer as to whether a particular bar is fake or not. Gold is unique. However, the most important questions about possible manipulation of the gold price concern much broader issues and occur at a much higher level. Well, the, the, the question about manipulation is, is clearly um, a, f a favoured one. People like to discuss this. I, I do think that um, even a cursory glance at historical fact will lead you in a fairly clear direction. I mean, it, it's not like this is a hidden thing. I mean, the London Gold Pool existed. It was an overt way of managing the gold price in terms of its, of its um, price. Uh, it's clearly in the interest of central banks to manage, particularly in the, in the, in the uh, monetary system as it functions right now, whether it does function or not, being a slightly separate point, um, it's clearly in, in their interest to, to manage the risk-free rates. Would you influence the gold price? Well, it's said that gold is the reciprocal trust in central banks, you betcha. Um, would a cheaper gold price, notwithstanding the fact that central banks are the biggest holders of gold, 68% of their reserves are in gold, would you want to suppress it? Yeah, betcha. The problem's too big. Are they doing it? I don't know is the answer. But money, there's almost a racing certainty they probably are. Others, however, are far more confident, not only as to the question of whether the gold price is manipulated, but also who the culprits might be. Well, the gold price is absolutely manipulated. When I say that, I'm not, you know, uh, you know, implying some deep, dark conspiracy. I don't think Janet Yellen wakes up in the morning and thinks about gold. I don't think Janet Yellen knows anything about gold, to be honest. I mean, she's sort of a geeky, liberal labor economist who worships the Phillips curve. So I don't think Janet Yellen's behind some conspiracy to, you know, suppress the price of gold. But there's absolutely manipulation. And I've spoken to uh, um, uh, the, several experts. One is a a PhD statistician, so it's not a PhD in economics, it's a PhD in statistics, works for one of the largest hedge funds in the world. He looked at a 10-year time series, and he took, like, literally tick-by-tick tick information on the COMEX gold future for 10 years. And he said there is no explanation for this data other than manipulation. It could not possibly have happened through normal market forces. In particular, he noticed that at the end of the day, like on the last trading tick, uh, on the COMEX, the price of gold got smacked down, and then at the open the next day, it could kind of pop up again. So he said, well, this is the easiest trade in the world. Just buy gold right after the close and sell it the next morning, you know, just before the open, and you'll just make consistent, steady profits. Well, anyone knows anything about, about markets and uh, how they operate knows that you cannot make consistent, steady profit. This is what Bernie Madoff said he was doing, right? So he said the probability that the price naturally goes down at the close and naturally goes up at the next point is like zero after 10 years. And this is not inference. I mean, this is like DNA. Like, you know, you may not see the crime being committed, but if you have the DNA evidence, you can be pretty sure who did it. Governments everywhere throughout history um, have wanted to manage. It, it's a critical national security you know, whether you go back to the time of the Romans, et cetera, value of a currency is very, very important to manage, particularly if uh, you're a government that hasn't managed your finances all that well. Um, and unfortunately, that is over time, most governments sooner or later find themselves in that position. And so the manipulation is right there in the open and that it, it is a creation of a, of a derivative market that satisfies demand that would otherwise go to physical. And that that was the goal of setting that up. And that's not well understood, I don't think, by many market participants. But uh, as I said, it's there in black and white in, in the historical archives. When you see gold trade the way it trades, when it drops, you know, someone sells $3 billion worth of, you know, notional futures at 2 a.m. New York time, um, you know, having been on Wall Street for 22 years, I know for a fact that if any buy side trader would execute an order like that on any consistent basis, they'd be out of a job very, very quickly. You know, they're, they're clearly somebody not 
trying to get best, you know, best execution. And, and if they're not trying to get best execution, what you're talking about is a currency intervention, basically. Uh, and so, you know, who is doing that is that originally the U.S. government had a very strong interest in managing uh, the, per the, the perception of the dollar through gold. So yeah, there was a, you know, famously in the late 1990s, Eddie George, an official with the, uh, I believe with the Bank of England in UK, you know, he famously said, we looked into the abyss, you know, if the gold price continued to rise, it would take, it would have taken down one major trading house and, and a number of others would have followed. And so there is a, you know, there is a, a sign there that the banks at that point had gotten involved in, you know, gold financing that have left them short gold in a way that any real rise in gold would have, you know, you know, led to an existential threat to, to them. Yes, I think the price of gold is manipulated. And I think it's manipulated in a number of ways. I mean, certainly there is a, a concerted PR campaign against gold by central banks for the reasons that, that we've discussed. You know, they, they, it is very specifically in the statist and central banker kind of interest to ensure a, a weak gold price. You don't want to see essentially the gold price uh, price de facto recreating a sort of reserve currency by by just being incredibly strong so there's a there's a there's a, a constant barrage of negative publicity towards the gold uh, the gold industry when it comes to specific manipulation of the gold price yeah i think that that is is probably likely too i mean i can't uh, the, the problem is we can't actually tell because of the way central banks don't, um, you know, are very, are very opaque with what they do with their gold holdings, and particularly their gold swap positions. But I think it's likely, and the reason why I think it's likely is because they've been manipulating other markets for a very long period of time. Now, historically, hedge funds were not players in gold. There was a few specialists, but, you know, they're doing stocks, bonds, or whatever. Well, they've sort of glommed onto gold. To them, it's just another commodity. It could be coffee beans, soybeans, lumber, who cares? It's a thing to trade. Well, if you're, um, uh, if you're short gold, like you've done some derivative contract with Goldman Sachs and you're short, it's easy to paint the tape. I mean, painting the tape just means manipulating the market through the gold futures market. Now, the other day, uh, well, recently, a few weeks ago, somebody sold 60 tons equivalent of paper gold. Now, I, I make the point, they didn't sell 60 tons of gold. They sold gold futures contracts that were equivalent to 60 tons. But I can sell 60 tons of paper gold with a phone call to my broker. All I need is a brokerage account. They got to put up some margin, like 5%. Uh, but that it drove the price down, uh, I, forget, I think $20, $30 an ounce in, in a matter of minutes. Um, and so uh, if I'm short over here on the derivative side uh, and I dump the gold here and the price goes down and then all of a sudden I make money over here, or maybe I want to go long and I want to dry the price down and then buy at the bottom and ride it back up again. So perhaps unsurprisingly, hedge funds and bullion bank traders push the gold price around to try and make profits. But while gold remains a strategic asset which sits at the foundation of many nations' balance sheets, there are players far, far bigger than hedge funds who don't care about making a profit, but who have much broader and far stronger motivation to suppress the price of bullion. The, the important question is who's doing it and why. Um, there are, and the question I ask is why is it not being investigated by the regulatory authorities, by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, et cetera. Now, one possible answer to that is that the Chinese are behind it and they're outside the jurisdiction. There's no way that a U.S. government agency is going to investigate the activities of China in our markets. China's too big, they're a sovereign nation that would not go anywhere. Uh, there could be a million diplomatic and national security and other reasons for not messing with China in that dimension. So China is my number one suspect because uh, people go, wait a second, they got all this gold. Why would they want the price to go down? Well, the answer is they're still buying. Ultimately, they're going to want the price to go where it's going to go, which is $10,000 an ounce or higher. But they don't want that now because they're still buying. They're, they're playing catch up with the United States. And by the way, they've bought thousands of tons, which is a lot of gold, but they have thousands of tons to go to equal the US in the gold to GDP ratio, where either in the absolute sense to get to 8,000 tons or in the proportional sense, gold to GDP. Either way, they're still playing catch up with the United States. But not every gold market veteran buys into the idea that the gold price is subject to manipulation. 
It has to be said, some of the reasons they offer as to why the idea of a state-sponsored price suppression scheme may be far-fetched are both simple to understand and hard to argue with. I think that all financial markets are manipulated from time to time. Unlike many of my peers in the gold business, I have seen upwards price manipulation when that is easier. Long-term manipulation requires a conspiracy of a size that I don't think is possible. The idea is an example that the U.S. government, the Trilateral Commission, and the International Jewish Conspiracy, or whoever they are, could come together and do a three-decade-long manipulation in gold, forgets that the U.S. government can't educate the kids, it can't deliver the mail, it lost the war on drugs, it lost the war in poverty, it lost the war in Vietnam, and it lost the war in Afghanistan. How on earth could they organize a broad-scale manipulation when they can't even manage their own campaigns? Most governments eventually wind up manipulating the gold price uh, uh, to, to protect their own power. So it's certainly a possibility. I, I've never seen any hard evidence of that. And, and also I would say that it is the nature of gold to underperform other assets in a credit bubble. You don't need a nefarious Federal Reserve uh, pushing it down because that's what happens naturally in a credit bubble. Everything else goes up in terms of gold. And then, of course, when the bubble ends, as it must, uh, things crash in terms of gold. That is a natural thing. And it's, and it's really what we saw over the last 40 years, when, when, I mean, for example, from 2000 to 2008, gold went up in nominal prices, but went down in terms of oil and other commodities. So, in fact, it, it did very badly uh, in real terms. Uh, when, when the bubble uh, had, a, had a popped in 2008 and 9, gold did fantastically well in nominal and real terms. And then Bernanke managed to uh, blow a, a bigger bubble. And so it's no really a surprise that gold did badly during that period. Now, it was, was the Fed manipulating downwards? I mean, it's possible, but we don't need that as a theory. But why would any suppression of the gold price be so important? And what might happen were it to be both exposed and shut down? In January 2018, a group of traders working for the big bullion banks became the latest market participants to be fined for trying to manipulate precious metals markets, a pattern that has been commonplace over the years. But this proof of price manipulation in the gold market, like many similar episodes which have gone before it, had no meaningful impact on the price. However, any manipulation in the gold market, like all price suppression schemes, will ultimately come to an end at some point. And when it does, the potential ramifications are enormous. All manipulations fail at the end of the day. They all fail. The 1968 London Gold Pool failed. Late 1970s, US and IMF dumped us Four, sorry, 1,700 tons of gold in the market. It failed. The price in 1980 was higher than ever. Uh, late 90s, we twisted uh, the UK's arm, got them to sell over half their gold. Um, now they're stuck. Uh, early 2000s, it was Switzerland's turn. We got them to sell about 2,000 tons. Uh, but the problem is we have now run out of suckers to sell the gold. In one day, the holders of paper gold would realize that they will never get delivery because there ain't any gold to deliver against it. And they will sit there with a piece of paper and whether it's COMEX or the bullion banks or uh, you know, all the people who deal in gold, they will default. And at that time, there just won't be any gold available and the gold price will obviously shoot straight up and it will be very hard to, f to buy gold. One of the core lessons of history is that the market is more powerful than governments. And when this bubble we're living in currently pops, it doesn't matter how much they try to manipulate it. Uh, gold will not be manipulated uh, uh, to that extent, so it will break out, whether they're manipulating it now or not.